everybody. Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you are ready to party because today on Make It With Mod Podge, I've got some really fun party decor ideas using things from the dollar store and just simple scrapbook paper and the basic number one formula gloss Mod Podge. My name is Kathy Fillion and I'm going to walk you through all of today's projects. We're going to get started by talking about this cupcake or dessert display. And this base, the cardboard base, that's the pink and the gold part, came from my 99 cent store. And it's kind of like a kit. So it comes in a few pieces like so that then you build together um, to form this cupcake stand. And you would want to um, make sure you're using like wrapped goods. So cupcakes that have liners or things like that because we are putting Mod Podge on the top of it. And it's really simple to put together. So for this design, I did not put any paper on the center supports. I only put the paper on the tops. So I've got two different papers I'm using, the pink with the green leaves, the pink with the yellow flowers, and then repeated the pink with the green leaves down below. So the first thing that you wanna do is just get your cake stand or cupcake stand. And I did get these at the dollar store. It was $2.99 for this um, setup but I've seen them at all the party stores and even at the craft stores. So what you wanna do is go ahead and remove any of the cross bar pieces because you don't want to, um, it'll be very hard to remove that later after you've Mod Podged it. And I'm gonna be using, I got this great paper. It's just so beautiful for spring and summer. I could see these if you're doing a tea party or a bridal shower or even a wedding, anything like that, or a lovely birthday, really pretty papers all mixed together. So I've gone ahead and cut a circle shape and I purposely did it just a little bit inside. I still wanted to see that hot pink edge. And to get my circle shape, I basically just did a um, round plate on the back side of my paper and just went around it with a pencil. I like to do this on the back side so that any pencil marks are on the back side. And then I just went ahead and cut that out. And for all of the different circles today, I use a variety of different things. I use plates, bowls. They're really handy just to trace around. So now we're gonna use the Mod Podge gloss. And for the gloss, let's go ahead and put a clean sheet down here. We're only going to be applying the gloss Mod Podge to the back of the paper for this design. So we're not gonna be putting it on our surface here, just onto the back of the paper. So we'll go ahead and add that down. You wanna add a pretty good amount. It's really important to get the edges. And I'm using a flat, uh, about one and a quarter inch brush you can use a foam disposable side um, kind if you want, but I just have these. This is what I love. These are my folk art brushes. Make sure you get all the edges and just make sure you get all of the paper completely coated because if you don't, that's where you might get an air bubble. Okay, so now that my paper's coated, I'm just gonna pick it up and place it, move that over a little bit, right in the center. Let's see if we did pretty good. You know, if you don't get it exact, you're gonna be okay because you are going to have, I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe that edge there. Okay, you are gonna have treats and things like that down. So if you were a little bit off, it would be all right. Okay, so we wanna just start in the center and really smooth that down and work all the way around the edges. And there we go, we got our first piece down. Now what you're gonna do is go ahead and repeat this process like I showed you here. I did that paper on the bottom rung, I did the yellow flowers on the, on the middle, and I repeated at the top here. So you just repeat that process, and then you're gonna be ready to go ahead and cut those slits. So I have my top layer here that I already did and it's dry. So what you will do is set this part aside, let it dry, and then you're going to go ahead and pre-cut into your um, piece there into your tier layer and I'm just going to use a craft knife for that. You could use um, Scissors too, but I find the craft knife is easier and I just kind of hold it up into the light and look for where it is And then you'll just slice down 
and you can kind of feel it. Let's see. If we can find it there. Here we go. Go ahead, slice down. This is the hard part, right? <laughs> there we go. And slice down. And then what I like to do is, because you want, um, let's see if we can take a look here. You want the paper to kind of fold into itself, into that crease. And I have found that just taking a pencil and kind of rubbing it down like so, and then if it pops up like that, you can go in and just add a tiny bit more Mod Podge under there just to seal that edge. Sometimes these slick papers, they want to pop up once you cut it. Go ahead and just kind of push down there again and go in and push down there. And that is going to open that seam up for you so that when you go ahead and put your whole piece together, you're gonna to get that nice clean edge there. You won't get the papers popping up. So that's how easy it is to go ahead and add a little bit of paper to your design. And I wanna show you how these go together. So I did add up here at the top, just a little bit of a flower embellishment. And for that, I just looped it through this top here. You could tie a bow, you don't have to put anything. I actually put this on there because when I purchased this, this was all bent up, they were all bent. So I said, you know what, I don't care, it's $2.99. I'm gonna grab it and I will put an embellishment there. So they really come together easily. You just put the pieces together and then you can see how these pieces, they just rest right down. You just push down and that little bent guy, right? Go ahead and just push down just like so. So I just did that all the way down and now you have a custom look for a party display. Okay guys, so let's talk about top coating. For this design, I did not top coat because it's kind of a one-off, I'm doing it for one party, but if you wanted to make something that was maybe more seasonal that you would pull out and do every year, I would recommend top coating it, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. One cool thing about this, if you are doing something that you wanna use over and over and over again, you can just easily collapse this back down and it will store away and you can pull it out for any holiday or occasion. So if you want a top coat, you will just go in right onto your design. Now I am just going right up to that edge because I do not want to add my Mod Podge to that part there. I wanna keep that gold real shiny and I wanna keep that pink real shiny too. So I don't wanna see any brush strokes on that. So I'm just going right up to that edge and doing really nice smooth brush strokes up and down. Very, very simple to do. Uh, again, if you are doing it for more of a permanent thing that you wanna pull out every year, absolutely top coat it. If you're just doing it for a one-time event, you're having a baby shower or a wedding shower or something, you wouldn't necessarily need to top coat it for that. Okay, let's set this aside. I wanna show you another really, really fun thing, and that is these favor boxes. So I found these flat um, favor boxes at the dollar store, and I love that gold and how it ties in with that gold edge there. These are kind of like popcorn boxes, I guess, but so, so many people are doing individual snacks now, so you could fill it up with pretzels or fruit kebabs or something like that. You could use them to package gifts if you have favors that you're giving away. There's also, you could even put popcorn in them, right? <laughs> Since that's what I think they're actually for. So um, these are really fun and simple to do. And like I said at the top, everything is just involving a scrapbook paper. So to create that coordinated look, I'm just using the same two papers for all of the different designs. So what I did was I took one of the boxes and I cut it apart to be able to create a template. So this is just one of the sides there. And I went ahead and I cut a straight edge across the top because if you can see in my design, I really wanted to have that stripe still popping out there. So I'm only putting the scrapbook paper up a little bit and just keeping that really cute element, just that extra little pop of gold. So I went ahead and I cut out my paper to size, again, tracing it on the back side. And then what you wanna do, it doesn't get any easier than this, and of course, these designs here are kind of um, 
feminine and flowers and sort of more wedding season, but you could do this for any kind of theme. You could do, you know, if you're having a robot party, you could do robot paper. There is endless amounts of scrapbook paper. So if you have a theme going on, just go and find some paper that matches your theme and you can really change any of these up. So we're gonna go ahead and we've got a seam there in our box and we'll line our bottom edge up with that seam. And gently press down. And I find it's best to kind of open it up a little bit and then I'm gonna use just, just a plain tissue. It's not a damp tissue, just plain. I'm gonna rub that and rub along those edges just to kind of seal that edge down. Now, I am not top coating this project either because it just doesn't need it. Here, I'm really using the Mod Podge as a glue. Mod Podge is a glue and a sealer. So if I was doing something more permanent, I would absolutely top coat it, but for this, I don't wanna use my product when I don't really need to. So I'm gonna save it for top coating when I would really need to top coat something. So you can see how quickly you can do that. You could add layers on top of that if you wanted to do monograms or a saying, or if it's a bride's initial or something like that. And then these types of boxes go together fairly simply. You just fold the bottoms and just like so you can add some tissue paper, or again, you know, if you want to do it as a favor, many people right now with parties, they're kind of doing food individually. So you could stuff this with some fun fruit kebabs or popcorn, any kind of food like that. Very, very cute. Simple. And these were like six for a dollar. So it's a pretty good value if you're um, doing a whole bunch of different things. Okay, couple more fun decorating ideas. I love these paper fans. I've got a box of them, but these new ones came from the dollar store also. And for these, I just did some paper cutout circles. So you can see that I coordinated our paper still, and um, I just used the solid color behind it just to give it that kick. So I chose the solid colors based on the prints that were in the papers. And these right now are just um, taped down. So I used the Mod Podge to do my paper circles and I just taped it to the center. If you tape it to the center, you will get a little bit of this kind of, um, I don't know, air on the sides. So if you wanted to Mod Podge it or hot glue it to the center, you could. But many times when I have these basic type of decorations, I like to just tape to the center. That way I can use these over and over and over again. You know, a gold fan like this could go for many different party themes and, uh, Everybody who knows me knows that I like to throw parties and I like to decorate for parties. So I wanna show you quickly how you can do paper to paper with Mod Podge. And Mod Podge does have a paper formula, which is fantastic for paper. Um, so if you were doing more archival things or something like that, I would recommend the paper formula. But for something as quick as a party decoration, um, the Mod Podge gloss or matte is going to be perfect. So I've gone ahead and cut one large circle from scrapbook paper, and then I have a smaller uh, circle. And like I showed you, I sort of match my backgrounds just to the print that's in there. So this is using Mod Podge as a glue. And what I really like about this is you're able to get, because we're using a brush, very quickly glue all over the whole backside of the paper, very fast. And we'll just lay that right in the center. And I'm going to use the tissue again because I'm trying not to get my Mod Podge to go out on the edges. So just kind of rub around with the tissue. There we go. So now that is going to dry very, very quickly. And once it's dry, you can just add it to the center of one of your paper fans. And these paper fans, uh, came in a package of like five or six and again they're at all the party stores too but I love a good dollar store makeover and so when I saw these fun new party things I said you know what we have to do a video on these okay one last thing I want to share with you are these really fun paper lanterns and um, there's a couple of things this is still a work in progress and I did that on purpose because I wanted to be able to show you some of the different things if you are interested in making over paper lanterns. This is a really simple project. Last year, I'm gonna throw a picture up 
We did these um, with a beach theme using tissue paper and they are so pretty. And I thought, you know what, let's try it this year with scrapbook paper. So the first thing that I did was I'm gonna use a punch um, to punch out some shapes. I thought since we were going with a flower theme here, let's punch out some flower shapes. So once you cut all your circles and things, you will have some scraps of paper left over. So it's really as easy as just going in and punching a flower shape, just like so. So you can grab some flower shapes. Um, so when you're putting the Mod Podge onto the paper lantern, you can see here that it's much darker than where your paper lantern originally was. So where it's dark is where the Mod Podge gloss is. So even if you're doing a small section of a design, you will want to coat your whole entire lantern with the gloss Mod Podge if you want to create that consistent color and shine all the way through it. I personally was looking at it and I thought, wow, it actually kind of looks cool just having that one part brighter. But if that's not for you, you would want to coat the whole entire thing because the tissue paper will darken a little bit and um, it will have a different finish if you want that shiny finish. So I want to show you how you can really quickly do a project like this. I've got a whole bunch of flowers and I will just be adding the Mod Podge directly onto the paper lantern. And I'm not pushing very hard because I don't want to, you know, dig into my tissue paper. It is just tissue paper. But this is so fun, so easy. You can do this while you're watching a show because you really don't even have to concentrate. And then what I do is I just place a whole bunch at once. So just pick them up. And there's really no, you know, you could do technical patterns if you want, but just sort of put them up however they go. And then once you have them up, you'll just go back over them and top coat. And I know it's very, very white and milky looking right now, but this is all gonna dry clear and glossy and shiny just like that. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more there. And that's about it. You just do that. You could do one strip. You could do a, a geometric pattern, you could do all over, or you could just do one little hint of them. Really, it's up to you. Just remember, it's going to dry darker and shinier wherever you put the Mod Podge. So if you want a consistent look, even if you're not putting any designs on the back, go ahead and just give it a really light top coat all the way around, and that way you'll get that consistent color. But look how cute that is. All right, guys, I told you it was going to be a party today. I hope that these ideas have inspired you on how you could create some of your own party decor. The coolest part about this was getting all this stuff at the dollar store. All of these, I call them blanks, like they're just ready to be customized to your event. So look for some scrapbook paper that matches the theme of your party or your home decor. And look, you can create an easy dessert stand. We've got our adorable little food containers or party favor gifts and of course our paper fans. And of course my favorite is our hanging lanterns. So easy to do. And everyone will be like, wow, when they come over to your event. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I can't wait to see what you're making. So please make sure that you at Plaid Crafts and hashtag Plaid Crafts and Mod Podge so that everybody over at Plaid can see what you're making and share it for Fan Friday. We'll see you back here next week for another Make It With Mod Podge. I hope y'all have a great week and keep crafting.